Hi and welcome to Green Zoo Wuppertal. We are right in front of Aralandia, a free flight wedding aviary for macaws. This unique project was entirely funded by donations from the Zoo Association Wuppertal and combines the ideas of nature conservation, sustainability and creating an extraordinary visitor experience. I'm Suzanne. Join me on a virtual tour of Aralandia. Ah great, you are already in the security area. I'll be right with you. Aralandia is designed as a walk-in aviary. That is why it has a clever double door system with interacting door locks. Whenever a visitor opens the outer door and enters the security area, he has to wait until the outer door is completely closed. The inner door then opens automatically. Should a bird get into the security area by accident, the outer door locks and an alarm goes off for the zoo keepers. Alright, we are good to go, so let's go inside. This aviary covers an area of about 1,100 square meters, with a maximum height of 10 meters and is home to macaws and parakeets. The special aviary allows for natural free movement and flight, discovery, shelter and retreat. Please feel free to look around. The animals can move between the outside aviary and the inside enclosure behind the artificial rock wall by using these entrance holes. This waterfall doesn't only look beautiful, but also is a natural water source for the inhabitants of Aralandia, as is the 27 meter long stream. Look, this fenced area serves as a quiet zone for new arrivals and is thus not open to visitors. In here, the birds get familiar with the new environment and learn how to move between the indoor and outdoor areas through the entrance holes. This is the visitor cave, from which you can have a look into a part of the inside enclosure. As you can see, the window is coated with chalk. This prevents the animals from flying against the pain. The zookeepers remove the coating step by step as the birds learn there is no passage. Right next door there is the feeding. So let's go and have a look. We are now in the kitchen where delicious and balanced meals for the animals are prepared. The residents of Aralandia have different tastes when it comes to food. Hyacinth macaws, for example, like nuts and hard shell fruit. While pudus, the world's smallest deer that also live here in the aviary, prefer vegetables and leaves. Of course, food hygiene is crucial. That is why the kitchen is so simply furnished. This makes it easy to keep it clean. The birds can always retreat to the inside enclosure if they want to or if necessary. The food is also offered here. In order to get inside, the animals have to pass through the flight holes that we've already seen before. This shelter offers various design options using elements made of dead wood and movable walls. By combining or splitting areas, it is thus possible to create separate areas for the smaller sun parakeets or for new birds to settle in. The passageways in Aralandia are special. They are designed as tunnels of about 2 meters each. We have already seen that the macaws always have to use the passages in order to get inside or outdoors. Each time this happens, the transmitter on the collar is scanned. This way the animals can be identified unmistakably, which is very helpful as hyacinth macaws are hardly distinguishable from one another. The animals are also weighed automatically, which allows to make some conclusions about the bird's state of health. If a particular bird needs to be caught, the traps in the passages can be programmed for this purpose. Once the animal is inside, both gates are closed. This way the birds are much less stressed out than they would be if caught by hand. 
Here we are in one of the breeding rooms. If birds mate and breed in the wild, they separate themselves from the flock and start to defend their territory quite aggressively. The breeding aviaries reflect the bird's need for peace and quiet and can be prepared individually to meet those needs. Please note that the breeding aviaries are not visible or accessible to visitors, so that the parents-to-be have all the privacy they need and feel comfortable. Furthermore, the breeding aviaries can be connected by opening hatches to give the animals as much space as possible. There are currently no animals staying here, which is why the interior is only for demonstration purposes at the moment. Hyacinth macaws are the largest parrot species in the world, with a body length of up to one meter. In the wild they live in a loose flock that can include several families. During the breeding season the animals choose a partner and usually stay together for a lifetime. In zoos, however, mate choice has not been possible, as there is often only one female and one male macaw put together on the off chance. Unfortunately, the animals do not always get along with each other and at times even have to be separated again. And if the animals accept each other, it does not necessarily mean they are in the mood for breeding. This is exactly why Aralandia is designed as a wedding aviary. So young and unpaired hyacinth macaws from all over Europe and even from the rest of the world can now be transferred to Aralandia where they live together in a flock and can choose their own partner. Once a couple has found each other, they spend most of their time closely together. They usually sit next to each other and use the same entrance holes, flying in and out directly one after the other. As we have learned, the birds are hardly distinguishable, but their transponders and a special computer software provide important data. The software analyzes which birds spend a lot of time in close proximity to each other and this usually is a clear indicator of a couple that has found each other. The couples who have found each other are then transferred to the respective zoos again, where they hopefully start to breed. The offspring then can also come to Aralandia to look for a partner. This way, Aralandia helps to ensure a permanent gene flow and an improved breeding success for an endangered species. Interestingly enough, macaws and other parrots in the western Amazon basin often gather around clay licks by the hundreds to lick at the clay and eat portions of the soil in nearby trees. The purpose of this behavior has not yet been fully understood. According to some theories, the clay might neutralize the toxins found in the bird's natural food or balance the animal's salt intake. Whatever the reason might be, here in Aralandia the macaws have access to this special wall coated with clay. We are excited to find out whether or not the birds will accept this offer. Gnawing on all kinds of things is part of the natural behavior of macaws, and hyacinth macaws are considered to be some real destroyers. The gardening concept of the aviary takes this into account. The basis is provided by fast-growing ground-covering plants. In addition, deadwood trees and branches provide enough material to satisfy the animal's gnawing drive. Last but not least, there are also materials that are difficult to destroy. This artificial ficus tree, for example, is very robust and offers the birds a place to settle on and protect themselves against the weather. It also has various openings that can be equipped with fresh branches. Aralandia is also home to flamingos. In the wild they live in shallow salt lakes and feed on small organisms living in the sand and mud. Here in the aviary they are fed with special pellets offered on the feeding island within the flamingo pond. 
This way, the food does not spoil the water, and the animals can follow their natural instincts in their search for food. By the way, the sand is extremely fine, which prevents inflammation of the sensitive flamingo feet. The net that stretches over Aralandia may seem unimpressive, but it weighs 9.4 tons and is a real high-tech construction. With a wire thickness of only 2.5 millimeters, the meshes have to be tight enough so that no animal can get through. Nevertheless, the net is sturdy enough to withstand the weather and the macaw's destructive impulse. Special openings guarantee the preservation of the old trees. And there's another opening over there, used to bring in large dead wood trees. Despite its stability and impenetrability, the net itself is discreet and characterized by a high level of transparency. Aralandia has a well thought out sustainability concept. The inside enclosure has a planted roof, which creates a comfortable climate, especially during summer and also reduces fluctuations in temperature. In addition, the construction gives sealed areas back to nature. This way, humans and plants co-share the space and local insects can remain in their natural habitat. In winter, Aralandia's buildings are supplied with geothermal energy, the warmth of which remains inside for a long time thanks to an eco-friendly mineral insulation. The heat pump for the heating system is partly powered by solar panels located on the visitor center. An invisible underground rainwater system ensures that Aralania's sanitary facilities are run sustainably. This is the exit of Aralandia and our little virtual expedition is about to end. It was a pleasure to take you on a virtual tour. I hope you got an idea of this exciting place and important project. My colleagues and I would be delighted to welcome you in person here at Green Zoo Wuppertal. See you then!